What's up, JPC gang? Welcome back to another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. That's right, it's your boy, Chef Ray, Mr. Money. Listen, today we're doing some Southern Savory Soup. Red beans. Miss Rose now beans, baby. Grandmama now. <laughs> Drippification. Straight from the sizzle. The south. Welcome back. This is another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. Let's eat. 65. Let's go, baby. Hi, right, what's up gang? Welcome back. Listen, you know the season is changing. It's becoming a little chilly. Fall. Autumn, if you want to call it autumn, but whatever it is. Beneath those time of the year. Very beautiful thing. It's cold. It's getting cold, baby. Cast iron for these red beans. Southern style red beans. Shout out to the NO. You know, they do it a little different. They put that Cajun spin on uh, them uh, andouille sausages and all that, but it's almost something like close to how we do it in Texas. It's all the South, baby. So check this out. You know it's going to have the flavorification. If you don't eat pork, I'm going to throw you a little substitute. And I normally wouldn't do this. Bruh. I'm going to tell you what you can do. I eat pork, all right? I do. I eat pork. We starting out with some heat in the cast iron skillet. Put it on high. Bring it up. We need that to get hot. Sizzling. <laughs> we got some pork here. I already took it out the pack. This is what it is, but this is where it came from. This is salt pork. Cured salt pork. Look at the fat content. Basically bacon. If you want to use bacon, then use bacon. If you want to use turkey bacon, then there you go. Use some turkey bacon, all right? We eating pork. Dice this up. I'm gonna start with the skin side, JPC gang. Ain't nothing like that bacon fat. Come on now, be honest. If you're gonna be honest with yourself, you eat good. Ain't nothing like that bacon fat. I should have did this at first, gang, but look, I'm gonna take that skin off. It's rubbery. It's not really gonna cook down. Keep these for some good chicharronis or something like that. Don't get rid of them if you wanna save them. Real soon, we're gonna be doing a chicharronis video on the channel anyway. We like them pork skins, all right? You can use bacon, pancetta, or you can just, you know, use the turkey bacon, man. Use the turkey bacon. You know what I was looking at when I I was looking into this stuff, man, a long time ago. I was thinking about being converted. They, was, they almost had me. I was gonna switch over and make the switch to turkey bacon and stop eating my pork. I looked into it. Turkey bacon got just as much sodium as pork belly bacon. Don't believe me? Go find out. Now, everybody prefer what they prefer. I'm not knocking anybody for preferring turkey, but this is pork. So don't knock me if I'm not knocking you. When you down in them comments, think about that. He didn't knock me. He just gave me an alternative. That's what I did. Listen, look at this. We got the smoke kicking up. Put up some of this EVO in there. Keep the stuff from sticking. We're gonna get the pork in the pan. Put this on like a medium to medium low heat. I want this stuff to render and start releasing some of that fat. That's why we didn't add a lot of the oil because we're gonna get some of the natural oils from this pork. This cured pork fat is gonna add a depth of flavor. It's really hard to mimic from anywhere else. You can go bacon, but bacon got such, it's got a unique, it's strong. Let this render for about four, four or five minutes. The uh, pork fat can really excrete. <laughs> It's gonna release some of the pork back, baby, all right? Now, let me show you what I got over here, gang. Speaking of pork, you got to have yourself some of these smoked ham hocks. If you're doing this dish, I don't really know, like, okay, I'll give you an alternative for this because I said I would. Use smoked turkey mix. It'll give you kind of the same smoky, savory notes in this dish, but it's not gonna mimic this. This here is gonna release a certain fat that create a certain gravy in this dish. Smoked neck bones. These, this is also pork. Mm -hmm, this is a real porky dish. Ark, ark. <laughs> We let this stuff render down for about four or five minutes now. Let's start to pool. It start to release the, the fats. We're gonna pull these out. Don't get rid of them. Don't throw these away. You throw these away, you already know. That's a basic ass move. <laughs> Veggies real quick. Sweet yellow Vidalia onion going in. Green bell pepper going in. Spicification jalapeno going in the bowl. Stir fry these veggies into this fat until it becomes just a little translucent. You know we not basic, gang. Look, we won't miss the chance to throw some flavor into this dish. You gotta pay close attention right now, all right? Gonna give you some real game. We have to have this, the magic dust. BigSmokeysBBQ.com for your magic dust. Tablespoon of magic dust. The reason I prefer the magic dust, it has a lot of different flavors without having that high salt content. In this dish, we got enough of the smoked meats and cured meat savor in this. The salt is gonna be up there. Don't go too far. With that being said, I got some salt and pepper here. Some desegregation. My salt and pepper rub. Black and white coming together. It's all in one. Tablespoon in. That's really just to help the veggies sweat down. You know the salt gonna help them onions and pepper sweat out a little bit. Become translucent. Cook down in that pork fat. It has became translucent. Tablespoon of minced garlic going in. Stir fry it until it become fragrant. Smell what's going on in this pot. He smells, I mean it brings right back the times when, my, when I say Miss Rose red beans. You hear me say Miss Rose. That's my late grandmother, you know. God rest her soul, but one of the sweetest ladies I've ever met. Every hood got that, that one lady 
that everybody go to. Miss Rose was it. You can go, you couldn't go nowhere in the hood if they didn't know Miss Rose, who Miss Rose was. Just because she looked out for so many people and helped so many people, if it wasn't nothing but just for a, a, a words of wisdom, she was there for you. And that's kind of what we got our, you know, the, the, the backbone. Chef Ray, Mr. Money became about. So shout out to her and my tea lady, man. You know, they, they actually, I think they did a wonderful job with me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get us some sausage in. You can use whatever type of sausage you like. Today we're using Ecker sausage. Pork. Slice it up. Just cutting them into a silver dollar size. Let's get them in the pot. We want to start the cooking process on them sausage. Everything is going to be submerged in this good broth, this good braising liquid. We just want to start the cooking process, add an extra depth of flavor by sauteing these meats and veggies off. Give me a piece of bread right now. I'm ready to go. I don't need nothing else. <laughs> Flavorification. Cooking is like an art. You got a blank canvas. Build and, and paint what you can. What looks good to you just might catch the attention of others. These red beans bring back hella memories. They have been soaking overnight. Picked out all the hard rock beans, the, the stuff that we thought wouldn't get soft. And this is what we left with. Soak overnight, 24 hours. Give them a good rinse. All right, gang, just like that. Red beans, pinto beans, whatever you want to call it. We got beans. Gang, we're not going to use all of these beans for the simple fact being is, look at my Dutch oven. It's not a super pot. We have big pot, but we're not cooking for a big crowd right now. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and share these beans with my neighbor. Very neighborly. <laughs> neighborly. That's what I'm being, neighborly. Some of the sausage got a little slight crispification on the outside. Fine and then One ham hock down because we want to know how much real estate we'll have in this pot. Couple smoked neck bones going in. Yeah, that cured pork is going in. And baking it all. This is one cup. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, finito. <laughs> That's all is going in. Beans still have to have room. Actually, gang, okay, hold up. Reverse, take one out. You have to get our liquid in. Chicken broth. That's not chicken broth, that's a pickle bottle. Chicken broth. If you watch the uh, Chicken Tetrazzini video, I go to the link right there. Click the video, that's a dope video for Chicken Tetrazzini. We made our own chicken stock. We was able to control the amount of sodium that went into it and all that, so it's not a lot of sodium, but you know what we got in here. Flavorification. One, two, three, four. Look like we got about five cups. Take a look at this pot. It's up there. It's not to the rim. All it's about now, gang, is time. Cook down. Cured meats in there to release all its flavors. One thing left to do. Secret ingredient. Mexico hot chili powder. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias to Mexico. Two tablespoons. Chili powder. Use any chili powder you like to, but that's my favorite. That's what I like in these beans. Toss married in a pan. Happy, happy. You know how that go. Bring this up to a rolling ball. Take about three hours to break everything down. I watched Miss Rose do this forever. Now we have to put it to the test. Let's go, baby. <laughs> We got these beans to a rolling ball. Cut it down to about a medium. Simmer. The little bubbles. Put these beans on, come back and check, make sure you ain't losing too much liquid. If you want to, you can go ahead and taste your broth. Make sure you like your salt level and all that there. You got a lot of cured meat. Take it easy. Don't just pound it with salt right now. We might come back and show you periodically how this thing look. Make sure you checking your beans, man. Tell you now, check your beans. You don't check your beans and they start sticking and lose too much water, you're basic. That's on you. I done told you. <laughs> Make sure you're going over to jpcgang.com, getting your merch to everybody that's already been over there. We see you, we recognize you, we appreciate it. Click right at the bottom of this video, it's down there. But we got that special special over at jpcgang.com. Tell a friend to tell a friend. When you buying this merch, you're not just helping the gang, we helping others. Proceeds going back to non-profit, helping families and kids. You ain't trying to do that in these days, man. Something in your heart. <laughs> it's chilly outside today, hurricanes and things. Rona out there, people mad and everything is gonna heal it. Miss Rose healing beans. You want to make sure you checking your beans. It's been going for about 45 minutes to an hour now. And look how much liquid these beans have start to soak up. Of course you're gonna need more liquids in here. We're gonna top it off. If you got more chicken broth then use that. Water work too. What we're gonna do is bring it right up top to the rim because we know these beans are gonna need more liquid. We must keep cooking. Let's go. Come on, let's check these beans out. Approaching three hours. Yes, Lord, take a look at here. That's that gravy that I'm talking about. Falling apart. We can almost call these done. We got one more trick. Big secret, all right? I'm sharing this with the game. Next step is the best step. Saute pan, E-V-O-O, 80-20 ground beef. You don't want to miss the opportunity to be great. Teaspoon of magic dust. Big Smokies, BBQ.com for your magic dust. 
beef rendered down and we drained all the fat on it. Now here's for the secret. Taco seasoning. Get it in. Get it well incorporated into that beef. Couple tablespoons of agua. Water going in. Pick up the fun. Bring it back in the beans. Clear it off. We going right into the pot with that pound of seasoned taco meat. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. Give it a mix. Give it a mix. Lord have mercy. Yes, Lord. We let it simmer down for about five minutes on a very low. See what we got. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get in here. Big time gravy. Come on up. It ain't a cold, cold day, cold nose, anything that this hot pot of beans won't fix, baby. Miss Rose healing beans. Love in the pot. It's time to big try. Let's go. Are you ready to eat? I got your bowl. Big old scoop. I got you. Family style. White rice. The green onions. <laughs> Savory. Red beans and rice. We got to try it out, baby. We need two spoons for this. Two. Lord, thank you for this food. Amen. Mm-hmm. Come here. Take the first bite. It's hot. Be careful. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, big old big. Flavorification up there. Thank you to Miss Rose, Grandmama now. Thank you to my tea lady. Thank you for this type of stuff here. Not only feed the belly, it's feed the soul. Good soul food. I appreciate you for watching. Make sure you go smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. Make sure you sharing these videos with your family and friends. They want to know too. Put them on game. <laughs> Hip them to the game, JPC game. Until next time, it's me, Chef Ray, Mr. Money. Peace. Love.